Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add mods to Minecraft 1.16.1. We're we'll going over every single step of downloading mods, installing mods, how to find some mods, all that stuff. It's all going to be covered in this video. First and foremost though, if you want a modded server set up quickly and easily in just a few clicks, Apex Minecraft hosting is the way to go. You can check out Apex the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DNOS protected Minecraft server. Whether you want a vanilla server or like I said, a modded server that you can set up super, super easily and add any mod you want to it. If you prefer mod packs though, they do have one click mod pack installation over at Apex. It's incredible. We actually love them so much that we have our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you were looking to start a Minecraft server, the quickest and easiest way possible, check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. The first thing we want to do is go to the second link down below. Now I'm assuming you've already got Forge installed and set up for this video. If you don't, check out the eye at the top of your screen or or go to the description down below and click this link. This is our link on how to download Forge. It says download Forge in the description down below and there's a link next to it. Click that link and it will take you here. Now, right now it's the 1.15.2 tutorial. That's because the 1.16.1 is being edited and it's not uploaded yet. But as soon as it's uploaded, it will appear here, meaning by the time you're here on this page, it'll be the 1.16.1 tutorial here. You can watch the video if you want, or you can go through the text tutorial for Minecraft 1.16.1 Forge. Nevertheless, you do need to get Forge downloaded, installed, set up. All of that needs to be done in order to install mods in Minecraft 1.16.1. So go do that. Pause this video. Go get those installed. That'll show you how to do that. It's an in-depth video. We've helped, actually, this blew my mind earlier, 1.3 million people install Forge at this point. So go get that set up, get Forge set up. It'll help you out. It'll get, it'll show you how to set up. We, we go through all the different issues that you can have and what if you don't have the correct version of Java. It's all covered there. So go through that tutorial. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. You're going through the Forge tutorial. You pause this video. Now you're going through the tutorial and then you come back and you're like, all right, I'm ready to install mods, the mods, Nick. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. So what we want to do is we're going to install three mods today. We're going to install Iron Chest. We're going to install the Gravestone mod and we're going to install the Connected Textures mod. I wish I could install more advanced mods. I wish we could be adding like not enough items or Chisel 2 or something like that. But we can't because they're not updated yet, right? Forge came out less than 12 hours ago, so we're going to take what we can get as far as mods go and install them. These are all pretty solid mods, but they're not, you know, big mods. They're not in-depth mods. They're not a Tinker's Construct, for example. So anyway, Iron Chest, that's the first mod. If you want to find more mods, by the way, we have a top 5 1.16.1 mods video linked in the description down below. Go down there, check that out. That has some awesome mods on it. But let's go ahead and get this Iron Chest. So if you go to, I believe, the third link down below, all of these three mods, by the way, Iron Chest, Gravestone, and Connected Textures are linked below. We're going to get Iron Chest. Scroll down, click on that yellow Iron Chest download button, and then it'll take us off to the Iron Chest download page. What is Iron Chest? Well, it allows you to make chest, right? Just normal vanilla style Minecraft chest out of different kinds of metal. You might be like, well, what's that do? Well, well, what it does is allow you to have a huge chest. The diamond chest has a ton of space. An iron chest has as much, I think, as two wooden chests put together in just the space of one chest. So it makes storage rooms much, much more efficient and allows you to have a lot more different options when it comes to like what you want your storage room to look like. So I like that a lot. When you're here, come over here to the right-hand side. You're going to find the Minecraft 1.16 section. Under that, you'll see Iron Chest-1.16. Click the purple download button to the right of that. And it will take us off, and the download will begin after a few seconds. You will need to keep slash save this file so we can keep it in the bottom left down here. As you can see, it says Iron Chest, so it's safe to keep. I'm going to Firefox. It'll pop up in the center of your screen. And if you want to go ahead and save it there, as long as it has Iron Chest in the title. Now for Gravestone Mod, right? Gravestone Mod, what does this do? Well, whenever you die with a Gravestone Mod on, like enabled and on there on your server and on your Minecraft, then it's going to make a Gravestone, right? Pretty simple stuff. You die, a Gravestone appears. But what's cool is you can go back and get stuff out of that Gravestone. So everything you died with is stored in that Gravestone. You can go get it back. Makes things a lot easier. If you don't want to keep inventory on, you still want some challenge, but you do want to be able to return your items and get them back, this is the way to do it. Also, what's cool about Gravestone is you can mine these with Silk Touch, right? You've got these Gravestones, you can mine them with Silk Touch, and if you do that, you're going to be able to actually place them again, right? You mine them with Silk Touch, you can pick them up and place them somewhere else, meaning you can make graveyards, which is pretty cool. So anyway, once you're here, again, we want to come down and click on this yellow Download Gravestone button. That'll take us off to Curse Forge yet again, where on the right-hand side, we again want to scroll down and find 1.16.1 Gravestone Mod. Once you've found that, click on that purple Download button to the right of that. That'll take us off where, again, after a few seconds, it will download in the bottom left. You've seen this once before. Let's do it again. So, boom, it downloads in the bottom left. As long as it's got Gravestone in the title, we can keep it on Google Chrome. On Mozilla Firefox, you'll need to save it in the center of your screen. One more mod. I always like to do three mods. Connected Textures. This mod, if you look down here in the bottom left, has not updated since 1.12, right? 1.15 and 1.16 came out the same exact time. 
this is a big deal. This means Chisel 2, or Chisel, is probably going to come to 1.16, everyone. I'm not confirming this. I've not heard anything, but Connected Textures is usually the precursor. Once this updates, Chisel updates pretty soon after. And you better leave, subscribe, because we are going to have a video on Chisel if it updates to 1.16. It hasn't updated since 1.12. It is one of the best Minecraft mods of all time. I said it. But anyway, that's not here or there. We're just installing the Connected Textures mod. To do that, come over here to the right-hand side. Again, scroll down. Find the 1.16 section. Find CTM, Connected Textures mod, what it stands for. 1.16.1. Click on the purple download button there. It again takes us off. You've seen this twice already. I will spare you me telling you the exact process. Or will I? Keep the key, click the key button in the bottom left and get on Mozilla Firefox, save it in the center of your screen. All right, let's go ahead and get these mods installed. So to do that, if we minimize our browser, we have Iron Chest here, we have Gravestone, and we have the CTM mod. Now, it does have all these temporary files. We don't need these temporary files, right? If you have those, just drag them off to the side. They will disappear here in a second, but yeah, anyway, I'll just drag them away because it's just clutter. We have Iron Chest, Gravestones, and Connected Textures mod. If these aren't on your desktop, they're going to be in your downloads folder. How do you get to your downloads folder? Click in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. Type in downloads, right like so. You'll have this downloads file folder. Click on that, and in here, you will find Iron Chest, Gravestone, and the Connected Textures mod. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, let's go ahead and get these installed. To do that, you want to go ahead and open up your Minecraft launcher. So we go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. Now, you should already have Forge set up. Forge should be set up. It should be working because you went and watched our Forge tutorial at the beginning of the video, right? If Forge isn't set up, you need to go do that. So go for set up Forge using the video in the description down below. Nevertheless, once you're here, as you can see, we have Forge 1.16.1 on our play.breakdowncraft.com profile, or you have this Forge profile here, which you select and click play. Either way, we're going to go ahead and make sure it says 1.16.1-Forge there and click play. It's going to then open up Minecraft with Forge installed. Pretty simple and easy to do. It's just going to kind of do things and open it right on up. And then we'll be able to install these mods. We are in the home stretch. It is very, very simple to install mods from this point. The hard part is basically done. Installing Forge is kind of the hard part at this point. And downloading the mods and finding good mods, that's, that's kind of the next thing. But yeah, anyway. Once we are on the main menu here, it is going to be super simple. Now, one thing I will say about... 1.16.1 Forge, it feels like it's opening faster than 1.15 Forge. I might be wrong though. Maybe towards the end they did enough optimization that it was opening fast. But for Forge to have just came out, it has been surprisingly stable. It's going to crash in this video, isn't it? Because I said that. But anyway, long story short is, Forge seems pretty good so far with 1.16.1 for it just to have come out. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on this Mods button here on the Minecraft main menu. And then in the bottom left, you have this Open Mods folder button. So click on that, and boom, right like so, we have this Mods folder appear. Now let's go ahead and take Iron Chest, Gravestone, and Connected Textures mod and drag them to our desktop. This, by the way, works with any mod you want to install. So whether it's in the future, Optifine, if, if Optifine updates, I'll do a dedicated video Optifine. It's a little different. I don't know why I said Optifine. But like Chisel 2, Tinker's Construct, Galacticraft, any mod that you want to install in the future is going to be installed this same way. Drag and drop from your desktop into that mods folder in the Forge version. Now, if you go back to Minecraft, they're not there, and they're never going to appear. You can click off mods, you can click on mods again. Anyway, they're in our mods folder, but they're not going to appear here until we quit the game, open up the Minecraft launcher again, and then again, this time, we just want to make sure our Forge profile is selected, 1.16.1-Forge. Awesome. And then we can click play. Now, Minecraft is going to open up with Iron Chest, Gravestones, and the Connected Textures mod installed. You actually see them here. Gravestone, Iron Chest, CTM. Those have been deep scanned. Basically, it's making sure there are mods, seeing what the file is. If it is a mod, what's it do? What's it linked to? Cool. We're going to put that into Minecraft. So that's kind of what it's doing there. And as you can see, it was constructing five mods there. At this point, the mods have pretty much worked have bugs in game you have things like that for just in beta these mods updated literally every single one of these mods we installed has only had one 1.16.1 version so there is a very potentially bugs for me that might not be there for you and anyway once we're here we can click on this mods button and we do see a gravestone check iron chest check and the connected textures mod awesome now there's really no way for me to show off the connected textures mod unfortunately but we can jump into game here and do our 1.16.1 test world where I've used world edit and pretty much used this for every 1.16.1 video so far. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway, once we join into the world here, we will be able to hit E, click over, and see iron chest. There it is. So we have the crystal chest. I love all the different iron chest stuff that they have. So crystal chest, we have the gold chest, we have the copper chest, diamond chest, of course, the iron one, and then the obsidian, and then the dirt chest is kind of funny. All right, so it's, I'll just lay out these really quick, right? So we can do that. Dirt chest. Um, let's lay them out in order. We'll, we'll, do, we'll, we'll do this fast. Anyway, that one, that one, copper, diamond, obsidian, 
dirt. This is not in order. But anyway, now we can put all this stuff in the crystal chest. This is my favorite chest, by the way. And you'll be able to see... Oh, it's not working currently. That's sad. Normally, right, you'd be able to see what's in the crystal chest from the outside of the crystal chest, but it's not working currently in this version. This only stores dirt. You can't put anything in here other than dirt. There's the size of the obsidian chest. Massive. Actually the same size as the crystal chest, I believe. The diamond chest is a little bit smaller. The copper chest even smaller. Gold chest... I don't know. That might be bigger. Yeah, that's bigger than the uh, than the copper chest, and then the iron chest is the smallest. So copper and iron are the about the same size, and then it goes kind of up from there. So awesome stuff! Thank you all so so much for watching this video. Oh, there was another mod we need to install: gray stones. So in order to do this, we're gonna have to go into survival and then jump off of here. That's pretty much how that's going to work. Now, you might be like, that's it? Well, there's a gravestone, right? But you won't be able to find that. I don't know where that gravestone is. By the way, you do get obituary with like exactly where your coordinates are. That's cool. And what items you had. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go back into creative, give myself some items and die right here at spawn. That way I can kind of show you what actually happened. So anyway, we're going to put some of these chests in here, right like so. And then we'll go ahead and just grab some of these blocks, grab some new nether blocks, for example. How are you guys liking the nether update? I'm, I'm loving it. It's so cool. All right, we're going to go ahead and do that. And now we'll just fly up here, up top, just right up here, right like so, and go into survival. And now we will die, boom, and we can easily go back to our, uh, our, our point there, I think. We should be able to, at least. I think it's going to be like right up here. Yep, there it is. And there is our gravestone. As you can see, this is our name, has our player head there, awesome stuff. And it actually, if you shift click on it, right, it's going to show you who died there and all that stuff. And I believe, I forget how to, to mine these effectively. I've like messed this up in the past like seven tutorials I've done on this mod. Yeah, there we go. So you can just break it with a hand and it will give you all of the stuff that you had in your inventory back. Awesome. There you go. That's how you can add mods to Minecraft 1.16.1. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Enjoy your newly found 1.16.1 mods. Again, all mods install the same way. Just drag and drop them into that mods folder after you set up Forge there. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. I'm going to go ahead and create one more gravestone because why not? This isn't going to kill me, is it? Come on. Let's get a gravestone. It's not going to It's not going to happen. It's not, it's not going to happen. Anyway, thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.